Y'all, I'm a dietitian with a secret. I do not drink enough water. I know, blasphemy. So today, the name of the game is to try a bunch of different sparkling water spin drift flavors. And we're gonna see what the research says about them. Does it hydrate you as well as water, all really healthy, and so much more. So let's a buckle up and fingers cross these. These help me hydrate. Back to my channel if you're new i'm so happy you're here my name is nicole i'm a registered dietitian with a master's in nutrition and i've been in the nutrition fitness world for well over 10 years showing you that living a healthy lifestyle can actually be fun and easy today we are talking hydration and y'all i know how important hydration is it helps lubricate our joints it helps our organs it helps deliver nutrients to cells and so much more but here's the thing Water just doesn't taste good, and I know I'm not alone, and as a registered dietitian, I tell people to drink enough water, yet for myself in real life, I am so bad about drinking water. Will I do it? Yes, especially if I'm working out, especially if I'm out in the sun and I'm thirsty, of course I'll chug a lug. But throughout the day, it's very difficult for me to do, and also I just love having a tasty beverage nearby. So I'm going to be trying a bunch of different sparkling waters throughout this summer. If you have a brand, if you have a flavor that I must try, let me know down below, but today is all about Spindrift. First things first, we gotta look at the nutrition facts label and their ingredients. And when you are buying any kind of sparkling water or any sparkling beverage for health reasons, I want you to first look at the ingredients. Don't look at the label yet, first ingredients, because I want you to make sure the first ingredient is water or carbonated water, either or. And on Spindrift, it is. And then you can look at the other ingredients and see if it's ingredients you like or don't like. I know everybody has their opinions when it comes to artificial sweeteners. For Spindrift though, I think you're going to be so stinking happy, especially if you don't like any sugar substitutes, because all of these are gluten-free, they have no sugar substitutes. It's 100% juice from the fruit. So speaking of, we have raspberry lime in my hand, and the ingredients are carbonated water, raspberry puree, and lime juice, no sugar added. And then looking at the nutrition facts, you're gonna see calories will range, and they range based on how many carbohydrates are in them. And remember, don't be scared of carbies. We love a carby. But the carbies that are coming from this can are from the fruit. And we love carbs that come from fruit because fruit is good for us. Fruit juice, of course you don't want too much, but this has one gram. And then the most is four grams in the grapefruit can. And remember, four grams is about one teaspoon. You'll be fine. We get down to the beat, y'all. All right, let's pop one open. Mango orange. Ooh, that flavor just like gets ya. But without being sweet. Ooh, I like that. Hmm. I have had some sparkling waters and I'm not gonna name names, but I've had some brands that almost taste like um, an afterthought of a fruit. You know what I mean? Very dull, very, some people might call it like, it tastes like a burp of a flavor. Ooh. This does not taste like an afterthought. It tastes like the fruit without being fruit juicy. You know, like fruit juice is very sweet and it sticks you and it coats your throat sometimes. This is still sparkling water, 100% with flavor notes. And I really dig it. I think this would be so seen good on a summer day by a pool, either as a mocktail or as an adult baby. I'm giving this an eight. This is really good. I can see myself drinking this every day at home when I do remote work. Raspberry lime. Ooh. I don't know why I was expecting this to be like artificially raspberry, but this is tastes just like raspberry and that makes sense because it's literally raspberry puree. Also fun fact, I learned that none of their fruits are from concentrate, it's from the whole fruit. So bravo to them. This tastes just like the fruit raspberry, not the artificial raspberry. You know what I mean? Ooh, I like that. And I like the little lime zing in the back. Put some mint in here. Wow. I like the other one a little bit better. I'm gonna give this a seven. We get down to the beat, y'all. Gotta talk about the elephant in the room. Does sparkling water hydrate you just as well as water, tap water, or do you need to drink more sparkling water to be just as hydrated as still water? Drum roll, please. Research shows good news. 
you can get just as hydrated with sparkling water. Granted, asterisk, SOS, wouldn't necessarily recommend chug a lug in a can of sparkling water while you're working out, while you're doing burpees, while you're doing high knees, Pilates, etc. That sounds like a recipe for a disaster, a little bit of a stomach ache, a little bit of a burp situation. Not the most fun workout. But Grapefruit. All right, cheers these. But before I try it, I gotta let you know, I already think I'm gonna love it because I am a grapefruit girly. I love a Paloma, I love fresh grapefruit. I like the slightly bitter, but sweetness of a grapefruit. So I'm amped. Wait, this is the most, wait, ooh, that is good. I will say this, this is the most fruit and sweet one that I've had so far. And that kind of makes sense. I forgot about the calories. This is the most calories in a Spindrift can. It's only 17, so it's really not much. I'm not gonna bat an eye out. But that makes sense why this tastes a lot more like the fruit grapefruit. Also, fun fact, it has a little bit of orange juice in here, and I think that's to make it less bitter than if it was just grapefruit, so it's more palatable for a lot of people because it's not hardcore grapefruit. Do I like it better than the mango orange? No, but I think I like it the same. I actually am going to give this one a 7.5. If you're starting to buy bubbly water, you may come across a common question. What is the difference between sparkling water, seltzer, mineral water, club soda, and tonic water? The two most similar are sparkling water and seltzer. Sparkling water and seltzer are just carbonated water that's it. The difference is how the carbonation came to be. Sparkling water is naturally carbonated, meaning from a well or a stream, and it's already bubbly. No one had to add anything. Seltzer is still water with CO2 added to it, and they call that artificially carbonated. Doesn't mean it's bad for you, but you know those soda streams that a lot of people have or you might have seen on TikTok or on TV, etc. That is artificially added water, and that is just because it adds CO2. Mineral water, just like sparkling water, is a naturally occurring bubbly water, yet mineral water will have extra minerals like magnesium and calcium, and an example of this would be Topo Chico. When it comes to club soda, it is just like seltzer, so it's artificially carbonated with CO2, but it's gonna have added minerals like sodium bicarbonate and potassium sulfate. And then tonic water is the most different. It's also a artificially carbonated water, so water with CO2. Yet it has another ingredient called quinine in it that gives it that bitter taste. And most tonic waters also have something like high fructose corn syrup or just sugar in it to make it taste sweet. Regardless of the kind of bubbly water that you like, always look on the nutrition facts label and always look on the ingredients and make sure that you're trying to buy sparkly waters that have very low to zero added sugar and ingredients that you like. All right, let's move on. Lemon water, people love lemon water. It's all the rage, it's the aesthetic. It's what all the cool girls are drinking. So does it taste good as Spindrift? Ooh, it truly, truly, truly tastes like I squeezed lemon and just sparkling water. There's no frills about it, but that's what makes it so good. It's crisp, it's clean, it's not like overly sweet. I'm not an overly sweet girly. It's also not an afterthought of a lemon. It actually tastes like lemon, lemon, like I just made this, which is incredible that they made it taste that fresh. Because of that, y'all, I'm giving this a nine. Like I think this is a stunner. I think this, everybody would be happy with drinking this. No one would be upset with drinking this unless they don't like lemon, then they're upset. I could slam so many of these throughout the day and I would be extraordinarily hydrated. And last but not least, half lemon, half tea. I wish I had every single flavor, but y'all that's a lot of money. So I got a variety pack. I will now get the other variety pack and finish tasting all of these because wow, I am so excited. I was really scared these were gonna be overly sweet and I wasn't gonna like them and so I didn't wanna waste my money on it. But now, Spindrift, well done, well played. I'm gonna be buying these all summer long. One for mocktails and two for cocktails and three for remote hydration beverages because I need to drink more water. All right, let's do the last one, cheersies. Mm. This one, y'all, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you follow me on TikTok, you know how much I love this one. I have been drinking this one every single day. I drink it with iced tea 
and this and I put it in my Stanley and I am good to go for like a couple hours. It is so good. I am giving the half tea, half lemon, Spindrift a stinking 10. But I will say it's tea and it's not just sparkling water. The first ingredient is carbonated water, then lemon juice, and then brewed black tea. If you're worried about caffeine, it has less caffeine than two ounces of regular coffee. So very minimal on the caffeine scale. This has such a sparkling water flavor. And there is like a little bit of tea in the app back end, but it is an overpowering tea. It's not sweet. It's also not bitter. And the lemon is just so fresh. It tastes so stinging good. But y'all, that is all the flavors today. If you have another sparkling water, bubbly water beverage you want me to taste or brand or flavor, let me know down below. If you haven't already, press like, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends and family, and I love talking to y'all down below. Let me know what you think of my rankings, of my thoughts. I want to know your thoughts. And until next time, drink your water. Maybe sparkling water now. Eat your veggies and be kind to yourself and those around you. And I'll see y'all next week. Bye, y'all.